Oh man, back to the Buick. Last night we went out to eat and the freaking alternator quit. I don't know if it's the alternator or the uh, voltage regulator. Yeah, I was coming home, it was dark and I, I noticed my lights start dimming and, and look at the uh, voltage gauge and sure enough it was dropped to 12 volts from 14. I just, just something cheap five dollar uh, voltmeter from uh, Harbor Freight. I just hooked it up and sure enough it's not charging. So what's not nice about these things is they're super cheap not like a European car if you if this thing ever goes on like a Volvo or, or a BMW or Audi or something it's usually four hundred dollars. I can get AC Delco for fifty bucks and then uh, Vorge Voltage regulator is about uh, $18, so the whole combo is $70. So it's not uh, not a big deal, but still, you know, just another thing. Seems seems like I can't catch a break with this car. You know, we got beautiful weather, sunny every day, I want to drive it. And it just seems like I can drive this car more than a day without something breaking. Hopefully if I replace everything on it, there will be nothing else to break. I still have not figured out brakes on this car. I have a brake problem on the Toyota RAV4 where the brake pedal goes all the way to the ground. Not all the time, just random. So, you know, that usually means master cylinder. So I put a brand new master cylinder and uh, it still does it. I bled the brakes three times. I've uh, taken all the wheels off, check checked all the cylinders, wheel cylinders, none of them are leaking, I'm not losing any fluid here because usually when you get a brake, brake pad all the way to the ground there's only two things, the master cylinder or one of the cylinders is bad or you got a leak somewhere where the, uh, the brake fluid escapes and this is definitely not the case, my brake fluid level is exactly the same all the time and I have brand new master cylinder and if I drive one out of like 20 or 30 times, I put my brake on, brakes on and just drop right to the floor. And <laughs> which is usually always master cylinder, but I just put this one on two months ago because it was doing that. And then it stopped and that's doing it again. So I'm thinking, now I flushed all the system. I put all new brake fluid in it and flushed in all of all the wheels. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this master cylinder is bad. It's new, I bought the cheapest one available. It's probably made in China like everything else. Piece of shit. And it has to be faulty. I can't think of anything else that be doing this kind of stuff. So, so anyways, that's my uh, ongoing project with this car. So I sold my Crown Vic. I'm, I'm down to four cars. And three of them are now running. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's like I don't even have anything to drive. But at least the coolant here is working good. Uh, yeah, there's no leaks here. Everything is nice and dry where I put the thermostat, and then uh, it's nice and dry underneath where I put the uh, epoxy. So everything's good on this side. But now it's the alternator. So, so that's the update on my junkers. What else is going on? Oh, yesterday I changed all the oils in all the cars. You can see uh got a brand new filter in there. I just put a Mobile One synthetic uh, high mileage oil, which is just, it's normal synthetic oil, but it's just a little bit thicker. It's 2030 weight, which is good for all the cars because all the seals are always way leaking on these things. So I put new Mobile One yesterday in it. And you filter. I also put a new mobile one there and filter, and I put a new mobile one here and filter. So uh, I changed the oils on all three vehicles. So, so that was yesterday, and today it's the alternator. It's never ending. Well, I got the sucker out. Simple job. Except, uh, except I smashed my finger so bad. Try to drive out this bolt. I hit it with a hammer. I freaking. Uh, I hope my nail's not gonna come off. But uh, my glove filled with blood. 
felt kind of wet and I didn't even know I hit it so so bad till my gloves start filling up with blood so now I put a band-aid on it yeah, so I got the battery out simple job you know two bolts here this thing swings away and this is what I got here so I'm gonna all clean up clean all this up and put a thick wax on it keep it from rusting I don't think it was from this battery because this battery actually has no nothing like nothing ever leaked from it I'm assuming it was the old battery that was in there you know today's batteries are pretty much uh, sealed and they never leak the old type batteries they always you always had to add uh, distilled water and all that bullshit so I'm assuming it leaked all over this place and, and ate all the paint and now it's corroding and it's the only freaking rusty part on this whole car because you've seen my other videos if you watch that you, you see that this car has no rust and the only rust is actually here and underneath the car in this uh, in this location because the uh, the acid spilled and and created this mess so anyways I'll clean it up and put the battery back in and it'll be all good it seems like every time I have to repair or do any kind of repair to any of my cars I always take it outside because I'd rather be out in the nature you know I live in the middle of nowhere so I get birds singing and everything I hate being inside I work in the office I'm stuck inside all day long so so when I work on my cars I'd rather pull them out and be outside than be stuck in a garage so yeah that might seem strange to some people you know I never had a garage and I always thought oh it would be nice to have a garage to work on cars and now I have a garage and I always pull the cars outside to work on them just to be just to be outside you know I hate to be stuck in the house so that's why you see this car all the time outside uh, instead of being in the garage because I'm always working on it <laughs> anyways here's uh, I cleaned up as, as much as I can see all this corrosion this is my uh, my line to pop the hood it's a cable and you can see what the acid did to uh, to the cable actually the cable still in good shape so I'm glad I'm gonna try to fix this as, as well as I can tape it up and grease it and all that because uh, not only that there was the air conditioning line here right next to it sitting and it start corroding too ah, I hate fucking battery acid it just eats everything alive anyway so here it is all covered with uh, with the wax with this crap <laughs> which I I love this thing it just sticks to everything so well and then and what happens it just kind of hardens not completely hard but turns a lot like dark brown and it just stays on forever pretty much you know what the heck this is my yard you know always freaking deer all over he's after her Look at that. This is a mating season. So I always have a bunch of uh bunch of deer in my yard. So anyways, uh Yeah, looks good. I put a bunch of wax here and then uh some on this side where I had uh, rusty spots. So now I'm just going to drop the battery in and I'm done for today. I got to work on my house. I got freaking some uh, siding and stuff I have to fix and go up on the roof and make sure everything is ready for winter.